anybody know when the last time we went out in the second round of the FA Cup? Here we go, it's the FA Cup second round replay against Walsall. You know what I'm talking about. And Sunderland have a strong side and I had strong team out. The ever-present John McLaughlin in goal. Baldwin and Flanagan of a year to 09. Then we have in the midfield, we have McGeoch, Power, Honeyman, Sinclair, Maguire and Watmore, the wonderful Watmore is back in the FA Cup action. Let's hope we can take this part three against Walsall tonight and win this finally. I'm sick of drawing against Walsall, so hopefully we'll beat Walsall at home in the FA Cup replay and progress against Bolton away. Come on, Sunderland. Yes, Catamol's back. He's on the bench. Subs with James as the subs and Marja. They're the three main ones. We have Reuter and Louverins as well. And this is going to be, hopefully, a victory tonight for those wonderful Sunderland fans bored in the cold weather in this FA Cup replay against Walsall. I'm going to go for, let's have a think, let's have a thing, let's have a thing. A 3 or 4 1 victory. And let's take this match. Finally, get those. Wins against the wall, Saul. I'm sick of drawing against the wall, Saul. It'll be about time we drew. About time we won and beat Wall Saul, and it's going to be the night. You... <laughs> what the hell was that? I think it was the voice of fucking Jack Rush shouting at the players at half time because that was an absolutely abysmal first half. Absolutely shocking first half. Do you want to be in the third round of the FA Cup? Because that was fucking garbage. You come out in the second half and you play like that. We are going out of the FA Cup. Come on, Jack Ross. Sort this team out at half time. Because that was absolutely pathetic. Now we started the match with 0-9 at right back. Maguire got a booking early on. Maguire's giving the ball away left, right and centre. He's just not on the ball tonight. Let's just hope at half time Maguire wakes up and starts playing some football. The kind of football we know he can play. 44 minutes before we had a really good shot on target. Right, just off target, max power. 44 minutes before we put three passes together. What is going on tonight? I'm really hoping Catamol is fit. I would bring Catamol at some point on this game of football and get a spark in midfield. Marja. We might need some magic from Marja. Because at the moment, Sinclair isn't doing anything. But obviously, he's not getting the ball to score the goals in the first place. We need to get some... Some want, some desire, some drive in our team at this moment in time. I ain't going to criticise Watmore because he's just coming back from injury and he's, he's not actually not playing too badly. He's picked up a yellow card. But no, I'm never going to criticise Watmore. But the rest of the team need to shake things up a bit and start to play in some football. Get a bit of drive, like I said. Momentum on the ball. A bit of drive, a bit of want, a bit of desire. Do you want? Ask yourself some deep questions at half time. Do you want? To be in the next round of the FA Cup. Do you want to send these fans home at full time with a win? Or do you want to ruin their night? Do you want to ruin those fans' night? Send them home depressed as fuck. There's more at stake than just yous playing football. The fans are there watching you playing football. They want to be in the next round of the FA Cup. I want to be in the next round of the FA Cup. And I'm sure Jack Ross does. So come on, I still believe we can win this match. We can take this game against Walsall. Finally, third time lucky. And beat them and go through to the third round of the FA Cup against Bolton. Let's hope I don't fall asleep in the second half. And I'll catch you at full time. Thank fuck that was the FA Cup and not a league match because that was absolutely fucking pathetic. Absolutely pathetic display from Sunderland tonight. Fucking lacklustre, un-fucking-enthusiastic, fucking no desire, no want, not one of those players today come out of that game with any credit whatsoever. McLaughlin's the only fucking player you kind of criticised because he was in goal and the goal was a fucking thunderbolt from heaven from fucking Kinsella who's never scored in his fucking life. He's probably never had a shot in his life, never been that far forward in his life. Our defenders just fucking backed off and backed off and backed off and gave him a free fucking shot and it was a thunderbolt, absolute thunderbolt. It was a great finish to win a game of football but we were absolutely shite. Walsall wanted this game of football more than we did because we didn't. We, the fucking wake-up call. This match is a wake-up call for Sun Football Club. We need to come up with more intensity than that. More desire, more want in matches if we want to get promoted this season because that was absolutely shocking tonight.
Not one player comes out with any kind of credit whatsoever. The only saving grace is what Moss had 75 minutes. It's going to take him a few games more before he gets back to fully fit, before he starts playing really good football. Captain Moore's back on the pitch. He didn't have a fantastic match, but he's, like, he's been out for fucking four to six weeks, so you he, he need him fit. We need him fit. But that was absolutely fucking shocking. People saying that fatigue kicking already. If that's fatigue kicking in already, we've got a hell of a long season to go. We have to play betting that against Bristol Rovers on Saturday or Bristol Rovers will turn us over and fucking roast us raw. We fucking won't beat Bristol Rovers if we play like that. I know it won't be exactly the same team as that, but most of the team was in there. And we've got a cup match after Christmas against Newcastle United under 23s. If we play like that, they'll fucking beat us as well. Only saving Grace Knight Portsmouth have lost 2-1 to Charlton at home. So they now, we now have two games in hands over Portsmouth. If we win our games in hand, and it's a fucking big if, we'll go top of the table. But Jesus Christ, man, that was just so uninspiring. It was just pathetic. What the fuck's this? It was just garbage. Absolutely garbage. I can't believe what... 8,000 fans going to watch that shite tonight. 200 Warsaw fans are absolutely cock a hoop over the moon with that victory. They're going to play Bolton the third round FA Cup. We are out. I mean, when was the last time we went out in the second round of the FA Cup? Does anybody know? Does anybody know when the last time we went out in the second round of the FA Cup? Because it's embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. Sunderland, Netflix. Sunderland till I die. We're on Netflix. I think it's this Friday. I'm looking forward to watch that, where we fell from grace, from the Premier League down to, Le down to League One, from the Championship down to League One, and now we're getting beat in the second round of the FA Cup. For fuck's sake, man, it's absolutely embarrassing. It's almost laughable. I just want to laugh, because I'll cry otherwise. I know people are going to say, it's another, it's, 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 it's another cup gone. It's a cup gone. It's, it's another match gone. We were, not in the, we're not in the cup run now in the FA Cup, so we can concentrate in the league. But you don't want to lose games of football. The squad, we haven't got a massive squad, but we should have a bigger squad than we have. And hopefully two or three people will come in in January and improve this squad. But, uh, I mean, Powell's lost his confidence altogether by getting sent off three times all the time. McGeoch's been injured, just come back today for his first match, and he was fucking a load of shite as well. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. That was just embarrassing. Game of football tonight, it's just garbage. Absolutely garbage. Hopefully, we, we can play fucking 100% better than that against Bristol Rovers on Saturday because we're going to have to. We're going to have to up the ante like we did against Barnsley. Hopefully, we'll have the... Oh, it's just, it's just, I just feel for those 8,000 fans spending the whole night in minus 40 fucking degrees at the stadium light watching that shower of shite. It's just pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Anyway... I'm not going to twist too much about it because, like I say, it's the FA Cup, it's not the league, it's not the league, it's not the end of the fucking world. Christmas is cooking, Christmas is cooking, Christmas is coming and the goose is getting fat. And we have to win against Bristol Rovers on Saturday, we have to. I mean, who are we going to bring in? We bring James back in, we'll start Marja. Power. Power? But, I mean, we need to get, we need some fresh legs from somewhere. If these players are, are getting fatigued already, or does it just... Just not want to win because they're not be asked to play now. In their minds, we're thinking it's the FA Cup second round. Oh, we're we'll breeze past Walsall. We played them twice already. We're getting two draws against them away at their fucking backyard. Now we bring them back to the back of We'll turn them over. It isn't that fucking easy. You, you, you lot, you lot of players in this in this fucking team. Uh, we've got also we've got McGee. They're supposed to come back. Hopefully he's all right. I don't know where he was tonight. He maybe he's resting for Bristol Rovers because he is probably our best player at this moment in time. Creative player going forward at this moment in time. At least he's going to come back on the other side. Touch wood, he's not injured against Bristol Rovers, and hopefully that's the oomph that we need to win that match because we need to start winning league matches it's vitally important we keep this league one going we need to start winning league matches the league is the most important thing yes it is the most important thing it is more important than FA Cup run it is more important than this derby coming up in the checker trade trophy but I still want to win that 100% but yeah Bristol Rovers on Saturday hopefully we'll win unfortunately I won't be there but I hope the look of the lads and we can get three points against Bristol Rovers for the big fan base that's going there on Saturday and 
I'll, I'll catch you at some point in the future. I'll see you later. I'm absolutely fucking gutted. Those 8,000 fans must be absolutely gutted at that match tonight to watch that. If I'd been there tonight, I'd have been absolutely sickened to death. Like I say, it's not the end of the world. Portsmouth have lost tonight, which is some kind of uplifting... I just lost for words. Just lost for words. Anyway, I'll catch you next time. And hopefully we will get three points against Bristol Rovers. Actually, yeah, fucking never mind. Hopefully we will get three points against Bristol Rovers on Saturday. We will get three points against Bristol Rovers on Saturday. We will get three points against Bristol Rovers on Saturday. The power of the mind. Let's think mind over matter. We'll get three points against Bristol Rovers on Saturday. I'll catch you then. Bye.